Hello, I'm David Maguire. I'm a teacher at Sierra High School. I teach AP Environmental Science and Pre-AP Biology. But additionally, I teach Pre-AP Biology in Spanish. So, hola, <laughs> bonjour, <laughs> buongiorno, ciao, aloha. Any which language you want to use, we all speak languages. However, it's difficult if you don't speak the language that everybody else is speaking. So a little bit about myself. I was a student that came here and grew up in first grade in the United States. I didn't speak the language. I was lost. People were talking to me. Teachers were talking to me. I didn't know what anybody else was telling me. I just sat there and just kind of tried my best. So, por eso es que yo ya quiero hablarles en español, porque quiero ver que ustedes entiendan lo que sus estudiantes están pensando y lo que sienten cuando ustedes están hablando, les están dando las lecciones, están diciendo muchas cosas pero ustedes no saben lo que nadie está diciendo. How would you succeed in that environment? Mm -hmm. So most of you do not understand a word of what I said, but this is what's happening in your classroom. You're talking to your students and they have no clue what you are saying. And then you ask them to perform a task. So let's look at some of the cyber trades. They fall behind on math and science primarily, and that will ruin their education. <laughs> they also can show away from higher education. If I can't do high school, if I can't do middle school, why would I even try more? Right, so this becomes the solution at their educational prospects. So what can we do to change it? Well, we just gotta use technology, it's there. We gotta use people who speak multiple languages. They're there. Why are we not leveraging that instead of tying ourselves down to, we can only do it one way, we can only do it the way we do it. So what are the benefits? Better understanding of content. They can pass, they have the same content level as everybody else, they just don't speak the language. They uh, <coughs> increase, um, they increase their mastery, mastery of content material. Why? Because now they understand what you're talking about, right? So students so fall behind just because they don't understand the language, not because they cannot process the information. How do we know that? Well, because everybody has the same ability to succeed. If you can do it, they can do it. They just need a few simple things. So to reach that success, now we gotta think about how can we do that? What tools are there available? We have a lot of tools at our disposal. So if, they, if, we can make help, if we can help them succeed, then we're all gonna succeed together. Nowadays we have translated programs pretty much on every single computer, right? Phones have imagery that can, they take a picture, it automatically translates it for them. Microsoft, as you can see, is translating for us right as we're speaking right now, right? There are many more and we need to be on the search for people who speak multiple languages to come into our classrooms and teach. So in Sierra High School, we're doing that this year. I'm teaching pre p biology in Spanish. How is that going? Well, the materials are presented in English, so they have to learn how to translate it themselves and work it, and they're using the same materials as any other class. So it all comes from College Board. I have no control over what I get. I just use what they give me. If it works for one language, it can work for a different one, but they're PDFs, so they can't translate those. So they're <laughs> gonna have to learn how to work this, right? The class is presented in Spanish. So I teach them in Spanish, I answer their questions, I talk to them in Spanish, I help them understand the content in Spanish, and they have to do everything that is non-college board in Spanish. Why? Because that's the language they speak. So how does that, how do you think that's going? What results have we had? Why have we achieved? Well, amazingly, we've done really, really well. What we have seeing is that they are at level or higher than the national average. I have no control over the, um, the pre-checks that come from college board. I don't get to see them ahead of time, so I cannot even prepare them. And if you see there, they're on the first one, they're right on board with national average. The second one, they're even higher than that. Every single one, they've been able to score that way. So they are moving up. So what can we see? They're gonna stay at grade level. So they're gonna be able to graduate. They won't be as frustrated. They have a sense of community. They come into my class, they come ready. They're ready to go. These are the kids that will be failing in our other biology classes. And they will just give up, go work construction and say, I don't want anything to do with education. Maybe we can change that. <coughs> I see a path. So we need to celebrate that. What I would love to see is that we embrace this even farther. Right now we have that one particular subject. Why can't we do math? I figure we can do math and we can do science. We can save a lot of students. I will never advocate for all the classes because, well, they do need the immersion, they need to learn the language. 
And this is equitable. We're not giving them anything extra. We're meeting them where they're at. They speak a language that is different. They don't understand what you're saying. doesn't mean we're giving them anything in addition to what is already available. So with that, merci, gracias. <laughs> and I'll look forward to talking.